colors and pretty much every flag so your dog can match. Yeah, yeah, your dog. That's what it's going to be used for. Your dog can wear it. That, that. <laughs> I'd like to make myself believe DJ Khaled! Another one! Slow. We the best music! Won't you shut the fuck up? I want you to stop being mean to me and be nice. What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all rationing around here? Come on, hook me up. Two little fucking string beans. Give me the goddamn string beans. I want some fucking devil eggs. I like fruit. Don't you like fruit? I like fruit. But this pork shit. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster. Okay, let me try and clarify it for you. This needs to be less horny. Like, there's too much horny going on here. It doesn't really work. This could, frankly, be a little bit more horny. Like, yeah, there's some horny there, but I feel like you could dial it up a few notches, and honestly, you'd see some benefits. Now, this is the exact right amount of horny. Like, just, it's right in the sweet spot where it's appropriately horny, but not so horny as to be massively distracting from the purpose. It's like, mwah, chef's kiss. This is not remotely horny enough. Like, what, was this designed by Puritans? What the hell are you doing? You need to dial the horny up by several orders of magnitude before you're even within driving distance of a reasonable level. I mean, come on. This shouldn't be horny at all. Like, I, I don't know why you made it horny. I don't know what the thought process was there, but you shouldn't have made it horny, and I'm here to tell you that you need to stop. So, have you ever wondered why you like what you like in sex? And I'm curious, would you like me to ruin it for you? I'm a psychology student at San Diego State University, and I took a class on uh, sexual psychology. There's a theory in psychology called love mapping that says that however you received love as a child is what you find sexually attractive as an adult. So if your parents are very touchy, like with hugging and kissing, whatever they did to show you that they love you is what you are turned on by. So for all my little BDSM babies out there, I'm truly so sorry. And for all the girls who like to be degraded. Wow. And for all you ladies who love to call your boyfriend daddy. Well. Yeah. Hope I didn't ruin sex for you. And leaving the door open is the worst mistake any employee can make because... Um, it could let in a draft? It could let in a child! So, what do you like for your bedroom? Oh, I just love candles. Really?
Like, yeah, there's just like so many options. Like there's vanilla. But I also really like uh, cinnamon and cookie dough at the moment because, you know, for the Christmas vibe. But what's your favorite? Aha! Uh, you know. Hey boss, remember the dominatrix that ordered the uh, urethral sounder? I'd almost happily forgotten. Does she have a complaint? Oh no, not at all. Um, <clears throat> actually, they want to order another one, this time bigger. Okay. How much bigger? We don't have the size in stock. I'm going to make a quick run to the uh, metal shop and I'll be back with it. It's going where the poor guy pees. I'll shine it so it glides with ease. I hope after its use he'll be all right. It's going where the poor guy pees. The thought makes me weak in the knees. For what she paid, I'd make her one with spikes. Okay, we're going to do some more do's and don'ts with the vibrating tongue ring just to make sure all of the newbies that just got them are on the same page and don't fucking just have a clit disaster. Please don't have one of those. Buy the ones with the rubber pieces because the rubber piece slides off the metal piece and then if this vibration is too strong for somebody, you can put on the rubber piece. I don't know too many people that this is too much vibration for, but it happens. It's happened where it's like too much and then you put this on it. It lowers it. You can also learn to vibrate your own tongue without a vibrating tongue ring, and that looks like this. It's like... And then the batteries for these are 145 volt hearing aid batteries. So if you go to Safeway King Supers anywhere, you can get like a whole round 10 thing of them for like 10 bucks, and they're like 145 volt. And then also I never use the bottom piece it comes with because it's too small. It's almost like a nipple ring ball, and it kind of hurts sometimes. I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals